Now, when we travel around to New Zealand, we inevitably end up at a local cafe. These days, you don't have to rough it at a greasy spoon. Our cafe culture is top notch. Today, we are taking a closer look at the cafes that are officially the best in the country. We are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by one of the judges of the 2017 Meadow Fresh New Zealand Cafe of the Year competition and Dish Magazine food editor, Claire Aldis, and our resident travel writer, Debbie Griffiths. Morning, guys. Morning. Morning. Were you impressed by the calibre of the entrance this year? Very impressed. After judging last year, we thought it was pretty good last year, but this year it was just amazing. And we had over 500 cafes enter this year, which is phenomenal. We're a small country. And so when it came down to um, the final 27, we knew that the standards were going to be phenomenal, and they were. Absolutely. What a horrible job you must have. It was. It's tough. <laughs> tough job. Uh, Debbie, what about you? Were you surprised that all of the winners were in the North Island? Yeah, I was. I've been down the South Island over the, over the last year. I've been in great places. The Batch in Invercargill, for example, and Cromwell has a Mondo's, which is brilliant. So, I mean, the standard must be right up there there are amazing cafes all around the country. Mm. Absolutely. Claire, what were you looking for with the entrance? Well, it's really interesting because you do have to keep your eye on the ball across the whole spectrum, but definitely that initial when you first walk in, the warmth of the staff, the greeting, you have to be on your ball with that. And then from there, it's obviously the food, the coffee, the cleanliness, the toilets, I have mm. to say. Oh yeah, they're important. Very important, yes. Um, and just the overall um, warmth that's, that every cafe gives when you walk in, the individuality, you have to be on. Yeah. Going. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. The food is very important, obviously, but that whole how friendly are the, the experience. You, you can forgive a few things if mm -hmm. the staff are really friendly and the toilets are great. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go through the winners, shall we? Uh, where is Debbie the best classic Kiwi cafe? Oh, well, that is congratulations to Rumbly Tums in Tokoroa. They did an amazing job. What the judges said about it was they love their friendly banter when you wander in to get your great coffee. They also love things like they have yo yo's from the Edmunds Cookery Book, inspired Yum. by the Edmunds Cookery Book. So, really great stuff like that. They even love that there was a guy who came in for the deliveries wearing a black singlet and gumboots. I mean, this is quintessential <laughs> Kiwi, so they really love that. So Rumbly Tums in Tokoroa. OK, so what about, Claire, the best rural cafe? The Red Shack Palazzo at Karaka. That epitomises everything about country warmth. It's cluttered, it's eclectic. Um, the seating there, it offers gorgeous inside with your magazines, which we love, outside in the garden with the gorgeous fountain. Oh, nice. The dogs are catered for with the bowls. And your dog's yep. very important. It's very important oh, to have dogs look after. Country, a country cafe, people will choose a country cafe if they can take their animal. Uh, portion size is generous. Good old country portions. Good. Uh, yes, just That's wonderful. Important. So who came out best, Debbie, in the People's <laughs> Choice Award? Oh, well, that award went to Surf Shack in Waihe. They got the most votes nationwide. Now, the Surf Shack is actually near the airfield in Waihe, so they get customers by car as well as by plane, so a really unique point there. Um, they are famous for The Beast on the menu, which is a belly-busting breakfast served on a 36 centimetre platter, so <laughs> good luck getting through that, it sounds amazing. Challenge accepted. <laughs> also really well known for their pancakes and their stacked salads, and yeah, so congratulations yeah. to them. Uh, Claire, what about the best suburban cafe? That is Sweet Vanilla Kitchen in Lower Hutt and they just ooze that lovely charm. The selection of goods that you can get there is amazing, the cabinet food, and also um, the combination of flavours that they do as well. You know, this is where they have their own little um, take on things, which really appeals to people, and they have a lot of regulars coming through the door. Mm. and people just absolutely love Flavour it. Flavour combination, it's such an important thing, it is. isn't it? Mm. It is. Um, and Debbie, you spent quite a bit of time at the Grand Prize winner. Yeah, Grand Prize winner. Cafe of the Year is in Rotorua and it's Capers. And I'm not surprised at all. When I heard who the winner was, I'm not surprised because once I found that place, I just keep going back over and over. So well done to the team there. Uh, the judges describe them as innovative but uncomplicated and I love that because it is absolutely brilliant. Last time I went there I had juniper berry marinated venison with mushroom risotto. So the combinations are lovely, they use whole foods, they also cater really well for vegetarians, dairy free, gluten intolerances as well and the staff are brilliant and that's one thing the judges commented on as well, the fact that the mm. staff will go over and above to really create this amazing yeah. atmosphere and yeah. to give you the service that that you want it's there. It's so important, isn't yeah, it? So they can, can actually work with mm. you as what you want to eat as yeah. well. So what would you give advice in advice wise next year's entrance, Claire? Um, well, if you're new coming into the scene, definitely decide what your point of difference is going to be. 
and 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 stick with that. So it could be the food, it could be the fit out. Um, never underestimate how important staff training is. Mm. You might have that really flash Italian coffee machine in your cafe, but you've got to have a good barista to do. With, oh yeah, you know? we know all about having a good barista. Uh, so I haven't tried the coffee here yet, guys, but you might be in the running next year. Surely we know. <laughs> must be in the category of TV <laughs> Cafe of the Year. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> absolutely. Um, yes, obviously the warmth of the greeting, again, we get back to that. It is yeah. so important. That will set the standard. People will forgive you for um, food that comes out that maybe the avocado was missing off the plate, but if you've got great staff, they'll come back and give you another go. Yep. Standards are high, That's and it's going to be higher next year. Absolutely correct. Absolutely. Debbie and Claire, thank you so much. Some fantastic cafes to try out across the country.